Hi, welcome back. So again, I'm here going to be talking about nutrition today. I figure with my first blog entry, we should start with the basics. So we're going to talk about macronutrients, uh, protein, carbohydrates, and fat. Uh, I'm going to start today with protein. Um, first of all, you know, a lot of people ask, well, what does protein do? Um, this is something, this is a question I get all the time. And it really, there's a lot of people that have a misconception about protein. They think, oh, I'm going to take a protein powder and I'm, I'm going to bulk up. Well, let me explain something. Protein, taking a protein powder is like eating a chicken breast with less, if you get a good protein, with less salt, less cholesterol, better absorption. So it's really just a food supplement. In fact, I wouldn't even call it a supplement. It's like going to the grocery store and buying 25 pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast. And that's what people really need to understand about protein. So as far as in the body, it does a lot. Uh, it feeds the muscle tissues, the amino acids that it needs for growth, for recovery and repair. So after a hard workout, you go to the gym, you break your muscle tissue down, you take a protein shake, and it gets into the body very quickly and feeds the, the muscles those amino acids and allows them to repair, recover, and grow. Um, it also helps to stabilize blood sugar throughout the day. Um, basically, when you're eating, the whole reason that you eat is to keep your energy level stable and to stabilize blood sugar. So by ingesting protein with carbohydrates and fat, it slows down the absorption of the carbohydrates so that they digest over time and they feed your body consistently so your blood sugar stays in the healthy range. So you never get high and store fat or get low and burn muscle. And that's really important because a lot of people that eat, they don't eat enough food and they don't eat frequently enough. So when they're, you know, they eat two meals a day, they don't consume enough protein and the whole day they're burning muscle. So by just by increasing your protein intake, it's gonna help with, with uh, fat loss and help keep the muscle on. Um, all proteins, one thing about proteins that a lot of people don't understand is they're not the same. You know, you, you go in, and I'm not going to name names, but you, you buy a, pro, a really cheap protein and you take it and you get an upset stomach and it doesn't mix well. Well, a shake that doesn't mix well doesn't digest well. So it's really, really important that you buy a high quality protein shake. You know, and, and a shake that upsets your stomach, I mean, some people are lactose intolerant, so they have issues with, with whey-based proteins, but a lot of people that can handle whey, take whey protein, and it upsets their stomach, it's because it's a poor quality and it doesn't digest well. So it goes through your intestines, sits in your proximal bowel, causes gas and bloating and all the other things that people think of with protein. So the most important thing you can take away from, from my talk on protein is increase it. Uh, very few people eat protein every three hours, which is really is what you need to keep your body going, keep your metabolism going, keep your muscles fed amino acids, and keep your body burning fat.